Yo, this loading wagon is modded so much, it puts some of my mods to shame. Hey, what's up guys? This is DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 22. And boy, do we have a lot of them. 42 mods to take a look at today. For all platforms, we have 22 new and 12 updates. And for PC and Mac players, we have 6 new and 2 updates. I do make mod review videos every time mods are released on the in-game mod up, so get subscribed if you're new. That way, you never miss any. Starting off with new mods for all platforms today, we got a new map for you. This is the Jiminy Taobao map from Joggy. J-O-G-I. This is a completely fictional map they say that you can find an old established farm right here there are some mods that you need to download before getting this if you download this off mod hub well it'll download it for you decorative details pack the bavarian farm pack the biogas plant 150 kw and consumable purchase station speaking of farm here is your farm on the map of course we're using some placeables here from other modders especially that bavarian farm pack which fits perfectly on here gotta be honest with you looking really good again it's very small and everything's kind of small here with the exception of the outside of the map we'll talk about that regardless here it is uh it's a very small map this is well it right here kind of actually zoom back in a little bit there you go that's it that's everything on the map as far as what we've got we've got field 16 uh which is twenty nine thousand dollars we got the main farm which is only 17 we got a little spot right here which is the biogas plant 71,000 for that area and then field 11 down here for 29. as you can see things are pretty cheap overall 38 59,000 for that 84,000 for that 72 so looks like that's about it uh with the exception of the 4.4 million dollar outside of the map the issue with this is there's a lot of these areas around the very edge that you can do things with you've also got areas around like up here for example or all throughout the middle of the map all of your cell points and everything these are all in this area so it would be nice if this didn't cost 4.4 million dollars with the most expensive field is 84,000. that's just my thing uh the whole thing is going to be uh, slots of 1172 slots so if you guys are playing on console uh that's how many slots are going to be taken up as far as things that we own we've got a case maxim we got a star 8150 we also have your dewey's far top liner we do have a class torian front loader that's kind of cool <clears throat> we also have a mandatu uh forklift new pickup truck sorry just ate some tacos for breakfast leave me alone vulgar trailer we also have the dewey spark top liner header for that nice amazon cultivator we do have the amazon kg3001 power hero which hooks up to the don't know how to say that sprayer slurry tank mower forge wagon front loader bucket and a header trailer for you guys and there you go that is the jiminy taobao from joggy next up new for all platforms we have the john deere 953 ilm from north money company this could be the 953 but you can also make it a 959 if you want to starting off at 330 horsepower variable transmission 1080 liters of fuel it's a 1080 baby at six mile per hour max driving speed and it feels like it's about two or three again you can change up the design if you want to with the 959mh you want to get a little bit better height a little bit better clearance and uh make it a little bit more stable on the sides of uh, hills you can also take off the warata and make that a john deere processor on the front if you want to it's only 13 slots on consoles so very very manageable next up we have the new holland cx8 series from tarxy 007 007 this is 370 horsepower we got a variable transmission on here 800 liters of fuel 19 miles per hour max running speed 9500 liter capacity 24.9 tons and get this it is 22 slots oof configurations we've got the 870 we also have the 880 which gives us an increase in horsepower up to 425 and an increase in capacity up to 11,500 we can increase that even more to 460 and 12,500 and then we bring it back down again so we can increase horsepower up to 90 and increase the capacity 3,000 liters what brands includes michelin trelleborg midas continental bkt Bridestein, and lizard We'll just stick with a uh, trailer board here so we have the crawler track we also have tires wide tires and back to that crawler track again nice to see those and then model year we have the 2021 and then we have the 2001 through the 2020 model 
and then back in again. So you can choose kind of what you want. It's really just a paint scheme at the end of the day. Heads up, this does not come with any headers, so you're gonna have to use the ones that we've got base game. It does recommend that you use the Verifee 28 foot. Next up, we have a new Fent tractor, the Fent 700-800 Vario TMS for Moose Agro and Lexic Design. We've got the tractor as well as a weight here. We'll talk about the weight here in a second, but as far as the tractor goes, 115 horsepower, 210 liters of fuel, 34 mile per hour max speed, that ain't bad, and 7.8 tons. Very, very, very good tractor here. Trelleborg tires, oh, it's 26 slots, by the way, so it's a pretty high on there. Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Rodstein, and Nucky, and tires basically giving you the entire range there. Exhaust cover, we've got a chrome exhaust. We've also got, why is that exhaust? That is the, the bonnet, yo, bro, that's the wrong color. <laughs> Nonetheless, we also have front parts with a spring holder. We also have the hood guard or nothing. Hood details is yes and no. Basically just adding the little fent track or triangle right there in the very front. Beacon lights, we've got one on the left, one on the right, both of them. And then we have a second design with the same thing there as well. Steering knob, well, you definitely want that on the steering wheel inside. Carpet, well, add that carpet in there. You've got some prefabs, we may as well use them. Attachers, we have no front uh, hydraulic. Front hydraulic without PTO or with PTO or back in again. Front loaders include the Quickie and the Hauer. We also have the Fent there as well if you guys have that. And then engine setup, we have the 115 horsepower, 120, 140, and 160. We also have a 150 and 170 and 185 as well. So this will go up pretty high. I mean, look at that. 120 grand for 185 horsepower tractor. That goes 34 miles an hour with a front loader and front three point and all of the above. Yo, bruh. We also have the Asaria Pro on here as well. So it is supported if you guys want to use that. Main color. We've got all of the colors you would expect to see from a Fed tractor, including Petro Blue. Design color. This is probably going to be the color of your front loader. And then rim colors, of course, at the end of the day, are rim colors. As I mentioned, we do have a weight for this as well. If you don't go for a front hydraulic or anything like that, well, then you can attach this weight. It weighs 500 kilograms, so this is the front that you want if you want to attach that weight. All right, let's talk about this loading wagon that puts mine to shame. This is the Lizard Taurus. It's actually a pack of mods from Omatana. Of course it's from Omatana. The first version holds 200,000 liters. That's going to be of grass hay, straw, silage, and chaff. Then you've got a normal version with 50,000 liter. They both have the same customization, which is nice. Uh, 220 horsepower required for both, 10 mile per hour max working speed. You've got Trelleborg tires, you've got Michelin, BKT, Friedstein tires on there as well. Silage additive, yes or no. Main color, you've got all the base game colors, plus you have this custom TARDIS blue. Um, I think for this one, let's try and make this a Case IH. So let's go Case IH red there. Design is going to be all the way around. I'm going to go with an onyx black there. And then rim colors are going to be light gray. There you go. Now, uh, heads up, the lizard logos are going to stay bright green. Hopefully, in maybe a future update, we can either take those off or change the color of them. But very, very, very cool. Check this out, man. 200,000 liter loading wagon for all platforms. But like we said, you can go with the 50,000 if you want. But you're not going to because this one was 200. Oh, it's slot count, it's 10 slots. Next up, we've got the Gravity Wagon. This is made up modding Stoneway Design and the ABP team. This holds 14,000 liters of bulk crop. So if you wanted to put like grass in here, you can. There's nothing stopping you. Making this a great uh, option for like animal feeding because it goes off on one side. Weighs 4.6 tons by itself. It's only three slots on console, so that is nice. Well, brands include Lizard. We have Trelleborg on there as well. Michelin tires and back in again. In Trelleborg, we do have a standard and a wide tire, so you can swap those out if you want to. We've got every single main color under the rainbow, so since we did case before, why don't we do, I don't know, Kloss. How about that? Where's Kloss at? There we go. We'll go with that. And then rim color, I think uh, fence about as close as it gets. So there you go. You could do that if you want to. There's no logos on here, nothing like that. We do have the American tractor triangle on the back, and you can hook up multiple of these together. There's, <laughs> yo, bro. What else is there to this? Pretty sweet. Next is a mod that might look familiar to you guys because this is the Tekla Z274-1. This is a mod that was released, I think it was yesterday, the day before, something like that, for PC and Mac players. However, they have taken off the uh, unlicensed brand at the front, the Sipma, and made it to where 
here it is. So this will wrap 125 centimeter round bales. Uh, a lot of people are probably very familiar with this type of wrapping. All you got to do is hook up via three point right there and then put your bale on top and you're ready to go. Stickers, we do have a couple different options for stickers on here as well. If you want those, we do have different attachment types. So if you're looking for that, well, you can do that. I'm trying to see if there's anything actually changing really not much changing on there as far as the attacher random foil color again this is a mod that's available for all platforms you can get the random foil color mod definitely get that you've also got the extended foil color mod as well which will basically add tons and tons and tons of colors uh you do have some nice pink on there we'll go with that main color for the machine as well green and red that's all you get and then your design uh white ivory and gray Oh, three shades of gray right there. Uh, this is going to be four slots for you guys on console. Next up is the Unia Grugzat. I don't know how to say that. It's the Unia G Pack. The, we got three things in here the U021, the U0231, and the Spike. Now, we got two plows with this. The first plow of only 20 horsepower, 0.6 meters at four miles per hour. We've got a shear on here, so you can add that if you need to, right on the edge. And then we've got a Spike handle. We do have a main color here. These are all of your colors. We'll just change it up to a black. That's your frame. And then your design, we'll change this to a bright red. Not bad. Then we have a little bit of a larger version, 0.9 meters, not really much. We do have a doubled horsepower requirement on here though. Same options, same colors. Then we got the spike on here. Now this is a trailed cultivator. Basically is a 0.7 meter cultivator that will travel behind the plow and cultivate whatever you've already done. It's kind of neat. Uh, as far as slot counts go for everything, you've got three slots for the smallest plow, three slots for the middle plow, and two slots was a spike. Don't have to go very far for the next one. It's a uni as well. This is a uni, of course, a cultivator mod. 2.1 meter, 80 horsepower required, 10 mile per hour max speed. Configuration, you got the 2.1, you also have a 2.6 and a three. Yeah, I know it was in there somewhere. Three meter cultivator alert, watch yourself. Uh, this is going to be a total of four slots on consoles. We do have a couple designs, the non-stop design. We do have culture zone here as well that you could do. And we have a couple different options for stickers. Next up, we have the Lizard Container. This is from DMI 20MM Normandy, AKA Dutch Mining Inc. This has seen some stuff, man. The grain container from these guys. They call it the lizard container, not the grain container, but it is what it is in game. 45,000 liters. It'll hold all bulk crop, including stones, which is cool. Uh, weighs 4.5 tons by itself. Hooks up via an IT runner attachment, so you will need that. And then you've got every single color in the game to hook up to. Uh, you can open this up and you can put in vehicles or whatever you want to inside. You can also treat this just like a normal tipper. Oh, and it's one slot. There you go. They call this next pack the Cavernland Stone Picker Pack, but it could be used for much more than just that. You've got manure on here. You've also got your root crops on here as well as all your forage crops. So anything like that can actually be used for. So it's more than just for stone picking, although you can use these for stone picking very easily. The first one holds 1,100 liters, 200 kilograms by itself, 40 horsepower required. Don't know why this has a horsepower requirement because it hooks up via front point, or a, uh, I'm not front point, a front loader. And it's got a 1.6 meter working width. Again, it'll pick up all of the goodies. We do have some old and new style decals on here, but okay, decals are on the top. Well, we'll go with the modern decals. And then your main color, you could do the modern uh, red or the modern green. Now, we do have a larger version here as well. This hooks up via a three point, 1400 liter capacity, 300 kilograms, 50 horsepower. Again, don't know why it has a power requirement and 1.8 meter working width on here. You do have the same decals on the top and the same color options there as well. Both of these are gonna be two slots. Next up, we got the HEM583Z and the CBT. Five. Now, with these, very interesting. So this is the HEM without a crane option on here. So you, there's no way to really lift or put in the stuff that you need to. And that's where this comes in. It's an attachable conveyor belt. Pretty cool, huh? So as far as this piece right here, it's got a 13.4 ton weight, 120 horsepower engine in it. Um, and then it does wood chips. That's about it. Throw your logs on the top, wood chips come out right here you will need a trailer around this somewhere so that you can get your wood chips out will brands include trailerborg michelin bkd friedstein nokian tires and back to trailerborg again air hose we've got black but you could do colored as well which adds yellow and red to that attachments we have standard with clutch okay so that's gonna be on the back 
all clutches, which is a trailer hitch and a ball hitch, or nada. We also have supports for parking on the front. Yeah, you definitely want that. Let's let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. Uh, but you do have working sports here as well, so that's kind of nice. And then we do have main color for the machine itself. But this looks good, like dark gray. Not disappointed there. And then we have basically the same or similar options here for the CBT uh, as well. You got the protection boxes, which is just purely um, looking this. You do have different hitch types as well. So if you guys want a different hitch type, you can throw those on there. Main color, this can match your machine. And then we've got different colors for the bottom as well. As for your slot counts, this is going to be five slots for you. And this is going to be three. Next up is the K-Brand, Deutschvar, and Vicon Baylor pack. Looks like what they've done is taken the... Um, I don't know if it was the K-Brand Baylor. They took some Baylor and basically just rebranded it, which is kind of cool. Hey, I'm down for that. You've got, again, the K-Brand on here. I'm not going to say that out loud because it's a derogatory term in some countries in the world, so we're not going to say that word. We also have a Dewey's Far and... We've got the Viking, which is my favorite out of all of them. As far as the first one goes, 140 horsepower required, 12 mile per hour max work at speed, and it makes 180, 220, and 240 centimeter square bells. As far as your rims go, you've got Trellebork, you also have Michelin, BKT, Frankenstein, and that is it. As far as decals, you got old or new, main color, red, red, and red. Uh, you do have a red metallic, but uh, I'm not quite sure. And then, um, Rim colors? Yeah, here we go. You do have every single rim color you can think of, so that's kind of nice. Then same thing for the Deuce Far Baylor right here as well. Again, 10 slots for this one. Same wheels. Uh, you do have different decal options, so that's kind of cool. And then you do have old and new colors. And then we've got the same for the rim colors here as well. We have the same options. And lastly, my favorite version, the Vicon. Again, 10 slots for this one. Same wheel options, no options for your decals. So you're going to be stuck with those. You've got the old and new colors. And then you've got the same, well, I say same. You have different rim colors, but they do look nice. Very cool. Next up is the Fritz Meyer Crop Sensor. This is a new one for all platforms. You will need precision farming for this to work and or do anything at all. So make sure you got that installed. As far as configs, you've got weights on here with, it looks like all, well, some of the uh, weights, all the 10 week of weights anyway. So uh, from 600, 750, 1,500, and 2,500 kilogram weights on there. Uh, and it goes 11 mile per hour max work of speed, nine slots on consoles, a little bit high for what it is, but it is a very specific piece of machinery. Your last mod, mod, new one for all platforms. Don't worry, we have a lot of placeables to go. Lizard TGA 2200. This is a Mulcher, 85 horsepower required, 2.2 meter working with 11 miles per hour. This is the debranded version that was released for PC and Mac only a few days ago. Making our way over to placeables. We've got quite a few cow barns today. The first one is the modern cow barn from Mif UFS, real easy to find here. Animals, cattle, and then right here, $150,000. It holds 150 head of cattle. Uh, just like you guys, I would love to see a zero on the end of that number, but um, so I guess we're going for realism only these days. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, regardless, we've got over here, this is where you pick up everything. Of course, milk is going to be here, very, very obviously there. Popping around, slurry could be picked up there. Food goes in right there. The only thing left is water. Where is water going? I do not see where water would go. Maybe it just doesn't hold water? Yeah. <laughs> Easy to check. Get balls. Go to your animals. Modern cow barn. Eh. That's not showing. All right. Well, let's just move on. This next one's going to be a surprise, I'm sure. Cow barn. Cow husbandry in a European style. This, I think, is from the same modder. Yeah, it's from the same modder. Exactly. Um couple things saved here as well going from the same thing doesn't look like water uh you only hold 35 head of cattle on here food's gonna go in the very top very kind of basic overall but i do like the way this looks it looks very very cool uh again easy to find animals cattle and then here it is gonna have to watch yourself on this one small cow barn this is from a different modder completely this is from 750 ti modding and michael ls let's go in here Open this up a little bit. So this is where your food is going to go. You're going to dump that right there. Milk is going to be collected through there. We can open up this. Go in here. You see there's really nothing else for us to do there. Here we can pick up stuff. 30 head of cattle here. And then, of course, right here you've got... I think that's milk. 
I could be wrong. I think, nope, milk's over there. What is that? Oh, it's water, isn't it? <laughs> so used to not see the water trigger. Looking around, this looks very, very good. If you guys are looking for something really small like this, eh, there you go. Again, easy to find animals, cows. Next up, we have a shed. This is not a cow barn at all. This is the grain storages pack, but it is from one of the monitors that made two of the cow barns today. Beef UFS. We've got a way in from the end and a way in from the side. We press one button, opens up both doors. That is not a, uh, a thing that happens very often. Also over here, we've got a place to turn on lighting. It is animated, which is really cool. Again, easy to find. Buildings, sheds. Boom, right there it is. Next up, another shed for you. This is the metal shed from Simulator Games. An old metal shed, ideal for storing materials, bells of strom, hay. It's also equipped with lighting in here as well. I think this is gonna be the switch for our lights. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Regardless, uh, you've got that right here. It's 20 meters by 18 meters, 5.5 meters high, four meter between pillars yep, well, if that helps you figure out what's up well there you go and then easy to find buildings sheds right there here's something a little bit different today the commodity storage this stores uh seed fertilizer herbicide and liquid fertilizer all in one location price is 300,000 liters combined it's going to price capacity 300,000 liters combined price is 25 grand daily upkeep one dollar per day input output you guys know how it works over here. Easy to find, go into buildings, go to silos, and you're gonna find it right there. And unfortunately, this is your last new one for all platforms today, the old well, the old water well. You could fill up your water tanks with this mod. It's gonna cost you two grand. Daily keeps five bucks per day. And if you wanna find this, it can be found in buildings and in containers. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today, and boy, oh boy, do we have a few of them. The first one is the Atco Ideal version 1.001. Various adjustments, added power flow, 30 foot header. They've also got the added diamond 12 Agco style corn head, added the Agco style Helianthus 12,000 header displays further animations and extended color palette here it is in the game and here is our color palette goodness gracious even beige you want a beige combine harvester go for it you want one of this dark salmon go for dark salmon man you've got the 30 foot in here as we mentioned we did have the 40 foot already that's the 12 meter but the 30 foot a little smaller 9.2 meter working with that's be great for like a 90 uh was it the 70 or something like that that's good and then we do have a nice modded agco hatter took long enough but we can change up the colors on there which is nice and even the heli at this hatter very cool combine your next mod update for all platforms today is going to be the bassey ferguson 8s us eu series and that's not the name i had before but today we have version 1.2 of it they've added a new store item the massey ferguson 8 sus manually controlled front axle suspension has been added added the dyna gearbox decals for dyna 7 and dyna vt added rear window animation added narrow fender option and mod icon has been changed and it'd be weird if we didn't take a look at it right so here it is the us version of the massey 8s this is going to be popular. So you have an 830 front kilogram. We also have a front uh, hitch as well. You can also do 170, 280, 390, 500, and 610, as well as that 830. I like the front hydraulic. It just doesn't look right on here. So we're going to swap it out. Uh, we do have Trelleborg Michelin Freinstein tires. Uh, Michelin twin wheels, I think, is going to be the way to go here. So that's what's up. GPS receiver, we've got yes and no on the top. We do have a couple different engine options with different transmission options. Uh, looks like 285, 300. Look at that, 325 horsepower. That's pretty good. Seria Pro, this is precision farming ready, so we got that if you need it. And then main color, we have standard red, we have black, silver, green, white, and communal. We're going to go with black there. Design, this is going to be the very front piece, just right in there, right in the grill. And then no rim colors. Okay. As mentioned, you can raise and lower the front and like the nose on these now. So that is doable. And that is, that is a lot of movement through there. Dang. Next up, we have the Gettler Mayor of Vertex Design version 1.0.2 console release at the end of the day this is a roller it's a 60 horsepower required 6.4 meter working with and nine miles per hour you can change this up to an 8.2 meter working with uh horsepower rating does not change so nice big um uh, working bit there for a roller 
It does the thing. Yeah. Moving along, update to the Lizard RTM5 version 1.001. Fixed hire worker not working in the field. They've also got the Lizard CL42 with version 1.001. Fixed hired worker not working in the field. We got some problems with people not working in the fields. Got a big update to the selectable bell capacity pack, which everyone should have downloaded. This is going to be version 1.0.1. Fix the incorrect capacity of the 4X straw bells on the Massey 1840 baler. Also fix the RBM 2000 bell loader, not moving pickup arm to transport position once bells are loaded. Added the Viking fast bell with additional wrap color options added the farm tech dpw 1800 trailer with auto load for all sizes round bells and square bells sizes right 180 through 244 including the 14 pack of 120 to 124 centimeter bells wow they've also converted the k brand sw 4014 wrapper to wrap all sizes and round bells and square bells and sizes of 180 244 and they've added more wrap color options to all wrappers and balers with wrapper. Boom! It's just a quick, quick overview of that. Here you go. You can see we've got all of the loading on here. You've also got your balers themselves. They did mention that we've got the fast bell in here now, which is stupid awesome. Uh, we've got this random foil color on off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then this looks like it'll wrap up to, well, it says 100 and. 25 but we know that's gonna be a whole lot more and then we definitely have extended foil colors don't we goodness gracious bright yellow please thank you back to cow barns again unfortunately the old cow barn from Razza got an update version 1.1 mod description version increased number of animals been fixed and food is now unloaded in the stable omatana's open air garden got an update to version 1.1.0.1 improvement of the unloading trigger of the garden that it works with the small ab tanks and truck tanks and trailers still going man square slurry storage version 1.0.1 mod description has been raised in the fill real or fill volume realistic adjustment to 100,000 per hour. The Aunt Emma Shops got an update to version 1.0.1. Building texture has been adapted and sales prices have been adjusted. Modernized flour mill for made up bonding in the ABPT version 1.2. Increased the daily production on all products and added stone output as well. And your last mod update today. The last mod for all platforms, I promise. The all in one production version 1.1. Desk version has been increased and cotton and boards are now accepted. Before we jump into the PC only mods, there was a map that was released today, Banyan Brizzo, but unfortunately this has been removed. I don't know why this mod or map rather was removed, but if you got it, um, maybe hang on to it for now, but I, since it's PC, it's going to be everywhere. So wouldn't worry too much about it. Just heads up. It ain't there no more. Well, I guess that means we have five new mods for PC and Mac players today. So the first was the selectable bail capacity add-on mod. This add-on for selectable bell capacity pack includes modified version of the standard base game bailers that supports the netwrap add-on and twine add-on mods from DD Mod Passion as well as the larger 2, 3, and 4x capacities of the selectable bell capacity pack. You will need to have all three of those downloaded and due to the modified bell sizes on any bell loaders or bell wrappers that are not modified to support the new sizes of the selectable bell pack will not work. Your next new one for PC and Mac players today is the Winkler Silos. This is from Bartson V3. Yo, these are really nice and I hope we get some for all platforms eventually like this. They look so good. So, of course, this is where you're going to dump. Let's go ahead and turn our help window on because I got a feeling, yeah, like things happen. Bartson doesn't just do stuff for the fun of it. Oh, it disappeared. Can we install? Oh, I'm stuck in the green bin. <laughs> All right, so that's where you dump. This is where you get from. We have four different sizes, and then we have four different sizes of your... I'm just laughing at myself right now. We have four different sizes of extensions here as well. Real easy to find. Silos are silos at the end of the day, so we'll take a look at these four right here. Smallest one, 8,000, 12, 18, and 20. Um, so 18,000 liters, 24,000 liters, 30,000 liters, and 36. And then in silo extensions, you've got the same 18, 24, 30 and 36. They do match, they just don't have all the extra stuff, stuff around. Be careful though, you might get stuck in one of the uh, augers. You don't want that. Next up is the bush mowing mod. This mod adds the ability to mow bushes with all mowers in game and mod hub. They do say to please note this adds the ability to mow all bushes and types. It works with all mowers and the bushes will not grow back. They will need to be replaced from the build menu. So heads up there. Also thanks to Kitty456, author of the real mower mod from Army Simulator 19 for the idea. If you guys remember, I use this mod all the time in 19. You may have as well on PC, 
Oh, it's back. We also have the build texture changer. Uh, this adds a bit of realism with the option to change the color of the bells of Harvey Simulator 22. With this mod, a player can change 1.25, 1 1.5, and 1.8 uh, meter bells with all fill types of straw and hay with the option of five different wrap colors. You have default game wrap, wrap edge, red, white, and blue, green, and blue to gold. To access this, change wraps to alt be on your keyboard. All right, your last mod today for PC and Mac players is the Kubota Pack Passenger Extension. This extension adds passenger support to 102 different base game pieces of equipment, bonus content, mods, and DLC vehicles that don't already include support for that vehicle. Tractors that have a seat with the appropriate space will now include a minimum of one extra seat. Most harvesters and large machinery can carry multiple passengers with an appropriate space that is available. When activated in a single player game, it is now possible to move to a passenger seating, allowing you to travel with the AI required for more immersive experience or during role play. Very cool there. Um, it does require the official passenger or uh, Kubota DLC and it is supported with base game 79 vehicles I include tractors, harvesters, the sprayers, bonus content, Antonio Carrero, class saddle track, Boda pack, uh, the M6, M7, and M8, which was not supported beforehand. You've also got a bunch of different mods through here as well. So check it all out. All right, and lastly today, we got a couple updates for you. The CSN implements pack additional features, version 1.5, added palette with silage additive. Boom. And the Wolf Hall's got an update to version 1.001. Collision's been added. Ooh. Well, guys, that's it for today. Finally, I hope you enjoyed the mod video. All 42 mods. Well, I guess 41 at this point. Hope you enjoyed it. Did drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, and join the Go Ham fan. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. You know why. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of, no farm some news today, but we did have the Platinum DLC trailer breakdown that released earlier today. So make sure you see that if you haven't already. And of course, the error grape liner and vermeer day yesterday etc it's been a long week and it's only wednesday regardless hope you have a good one we'll see you later peace